Welcome everybody to Washington Sports Network's coverage of the 2013 Tanoa Bowl here in Memorial Stadium in Auburn, Washington. Team Oregon versus Team Alaska in this one. Oregon getting the kickoff. That's number six running down the field. We apologize ahead of time. We've been trying to get numbers to go with these names on the roster for Team Oregon and uh, haven't found a roster with numbers matched up to the names. Yeah, so we'll try to kind of pay attention to the PA announcer, bring you those as best we can, but you'll get the numbers, at least the numbers on the back, because the fronts all have the O for Oregon, Team Oregon in the orange and black, just like Oregon State. And then for Alaska, the A on the front in the gray and blue with the black pants. We do have numbers and names for Team Alaska. Apologize forehand again too don't quite get these names right away as there's a pass going to number 10 a little swing pass out of the backfield he's going to plow ahead and get brought down right around the 40 yard line a nice gain of about five on that play well as Simi Strickland would say those beautiful Polynesian names I'm sure we're going to butcher them so uh, apologies ahead of time for butchering any of these names but we'll definitely talk about the play which is going to be phenomenal out of both these teams Team Oregon and Team Alaska Right before this game, as some of you might have seen, the Haka dance performed by Team Alaska. A great little one there is number 10 runs the ball up right around the first down marker. Does he get it? It's going to look like he might. That there is a flag on the play on the near sideline. Now, the, the Haka dance, a lot of people, you know, just see it as the the thrusting and the the yelling and all that stuff. Really, it's a beautiful thing if it's explained to you by a, a Polynesian person. Really what it used to be, different tribes, when one would come into another's territory, they would say, hey, you know, we welcome you to our land, but if you try to fight us, we will send our best warrior against your best warrior and he will beat you type of thing. But if not, if you come in peace, we welcome you with open arms and, and come share our bounty. It's really a cool thing. I like that, yeah. And we'll share our bounty. Unless you're not peaceful, then in that case, we're going to kill you. We're going to stop I mean, so, And that's the game of football. Hey, look, we come in peace, but as soon as this thing snapped, let's get it on. Exactly. Dropping back. Pass complete near the sideline, number one. But you're right, beautiful spirit, uh, Polynesian spirit, all about you know family and community. Um, also, certainly known for their athletic prowess, and um, you know, but not just Polynesians out here today. Both these teams, some select All Stars uh, players from the high school ranks. The uh, Tanoa Bowl, founded not only as a Polynesian all-star game in descent, but also in spirit, as uh, Simi Strickland would say. There's a flag on the play. And they brought intensity from the opening snap. So look at Team Oregon this year. Try to get a little bit of revenge. Get back on the winning side in this Tanoa Bowl matchup. Third down and 12 for Team Oregon. They're in the pistol formation. Wearing the orange and black, just like Oregon State. The big O in the front. Rolling out as quarterback. Number 13, he's gonna try to evade pressure, and he can. He's brought down at the 30 on that pass attempt. Good pursuit there by Team Alaska. See big number 52. Um, and like I said last year, they were all over the place both on offense and defense. A number of returning players have made it back this year for Team Alaska. So some, uh, you know, some experience working on their side, playing in this environment. Though last year it was sunny. This year it's raining. Here comes this team right away with no huddle. They do a lot of hand signals. This is a team that's been, like you said, preparing for this all year because this is their showcase right now as far as being able to show their talent. I believe that's Connor Feckley at quarterback for Team Alaska. Out of West High School. Had a chance to talk to him before the game. Excited to be playing in this game again. 
uh, said a, a number of injuries and, and obstacles to some players attending this game for Team Alaska, but they love the team they got. Fackley throwing right away. Incomplete, and a flag's going to be thrown. They're going to say there was a little bit too much contact. Some of these names look familiar, too, from the 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament down in Vegas, where Team Washington and Team Oregon were both at there. And Team Oregon's D, gobbling up the running back. It's a big hits. It's you know it's it's fun to see. We did the seventh eighth grade t uh, game just a moment ago that finished, but the you know the speed and the power that we get to see now here with these two high school teams battling at at it. And that's our Armani Tufaga lined up at the running back position. He's out of Diamond High School in Alaska. Now they're going to check over. You see some linebackers starting to creep. Soft coverage on the outside. Feckley calling the play now in the shotgun. He'll take the snap, fire on an inside route. Great catch by Nick Butler. He stays on his feet, now finally brought down by a group of Oregon players. Nice reception by Butler there in traffic. Able to secure the ball. Take the hit and uh, get a few yards after the catch. And interesting to see like a college program, the backup quarterbacks are giving hand signals on the sidelines as well for Feckley to call the play in this no huddle formation. Just shows the preparation that went into this team. It's a nice little screen pass caught by Tyler Road, and he's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of two, maybe three. They're going to say three. Spot him all the way back at the Oregon 35-yard line. Well, you're right. You talk about the preparation. I did also have a chance to talk to the backup quarterback down there for Alaska. He's a smart kid, says he'd like to go to an Ivy League school. Uh, so you know they got some, some brains down there on the sidelines for Alaska. Feckley hands the ball off to Tufaga, and he's going to be hit in the backfield in a big loss. Three more yards are going to spot it, give him a little bit of progress there. Number 25 for Team Oregon. The middle backer there causing some havoc in the backfield for Team Alaska. It looks like, I believe that's David Henry. Feckley rolling out, firing, complete! Oh. What a great catch! Unbelievable! Fantastic hands there as he's laying on his belly. That's Nick Butler again. And it almost just stuck him right in the face mask and he put his hands around it. Yeah, great awareness, great athleticism to be able to catch a ball when you're stationary. I mean, uh, that's special. Beckley dropping back. Now he's going to roll out to his left. A flag on the play near the line of scrimmage. Normally holding, chased down by David Henry. The six foot, 230 pound linebacker, as he's listed on the roster. <laughs> and uh, he came like a speeding bullet, took out the uh, one of the um, flag guys there, the uh, chainsman. Um, <laughs> he, he wants it. You can tell. His Absolutely. motor is running 110%, chasing ball carriers all over the field. Oregon in the 4 3. Four men wide for Feckley in this Alaska offense. Feckley rolling out, hits his man, Tufaga, and it'll be brought down near the 10-yard line. And the helmet comes flying off. Yeah, we didn't see the finish of that play, but there was a big hit over there. And uh, that's one thing we saw last year was just the, the intensity of the hits. Um, there were some big hits. And we're seeing that again here today. This is the best of the best out of the state. Yeah, this is a fun matchup. I mean, this is special. Good football. They're going to hand the ball off to number 43. Matthew Ilalao. 
Yeah, uh, Matthew Ilalao, um He was the MVP of this game last year, Manny. Uh, I had a chance to talk to him before the game. He's excited to play in this again. You know, his, his dad is one of the coaches of Team Alaska, I believe. I know he was last year, so very involved. Um, he had broken his leg this year. I asked him, how'd, this, how'd your senior year go? He said, well, my leg was broke until, you know, until around playoffs, so I got a, a few games in at the end of the year. Um, so he's really com looking forward to this game as his playing career, his high school playing career, starts to come to an end. And these kids are looking to, uh, you know, showcase their talents for the next level. They're, they're hoping to catch the eye of, of scouts and some colleges. And the new quarterback in, C.J. Toomer, gets brought down in the backfield. Some good speed on this team, Oregon. I mean, everybody knows about the University of Oregon and certainly Oregon State and uh, the caliber of play those teams and the caliber of athletes. Well, you see there the speed out of Team Oregon in the pursuit and the tackle there, tackle for loss. And all these get, all these kids on Team Alaska were first or second team all state or offensive player of the year. Some really phenomenal athletes from them. So far we've seen some great football. Feckley back in, he's gonna drop back, throw, back corner, the end zone caught! First blood, Alaska! Wow! Tipped off of a defender's hand and caught. Unbelievable. And again, you know, not the greatest camera angle for us up here, but the perfect passing angle for Feckley. Connects with his receiver, back the end zone, off the tip, the deflection from Team Oregon. Great concentration to pull that one in. And I believe that was Nick Butler again, who has shown he has some sure hands. It was. No, excuse me, it was C.J. Toomer. I'll make that it was Butler. Nick Butler. Butler and Toomer both playing at Service High School. Green helmets. Extra point is up yep. and is good. So, Team Alaska with 437 left to go in the first have a 7 0 lead. Kick is very deep and nice kick. into the end zone for a touchback. That ball's going to bounce into a couple puddles. I'll tell you what, for this Team Alaska, this is great weather. Yeah, this is balmy uh, summertime, put on shorts. Mentioned before during the juniors game, which was won by uh, the Washington Warriors over the Tri-City Elite, saw some Alaska kids that had to have been wearing khaki shorts down there in this 36 degree weather. Yeah. I mean, you know, we say that in jest. I did talk to a couple Alaska players. They said, you know, we're playing in rain down here and asked them about their post uh, high school aspirations. They're like, I want to play somewhere warm. So definitely on the minds of Team Alaska, even though it's just a 36 degree rain. We're back rolling out, firing to an inside receiver, incomplete, and he's brought down by a defensive back. On the coverage was number 22. Kalen Lee. Yeah, and, and just as a formality for our viewers out there, thank you for joining us. Uh, intermittently, there may be stream issues. We never know. It's just part of technology. So if the stream does go down, we'll do everything we can to get that back up for you ASAP. And off. Going to number 10. Copies of this game are available on DVD. You will be able to go to WashingtonSportsNetwork.com and click on the Buy DVD link and find uh, a link to purchase this game that will probably not be up until uh, later this evening or tomorrow, but certainly check back if you'd like to have a copy of this momentous event. That was Devontae Hoffman on the carry the last time. Now they're throwing in a flag on the play. 
and a punt here on fourth down, a quick one. I like the Boise State punt. It's gonna be rolling down a great Oregon roll down to the 27 yard line and flags on the play. Second down, five to go. Lujan complete. Going to number 88, Luis Page. Lewis Page. Yeah, and, and last year we saw this out of Team Alaska too. Uh, some some good receivers. They've got some good ones again this year. And a first down on that play. You know, this rain has really not affected the passing game at all. No. Hand off. Going to number 23, Diego Suateo. Yeah, some good play calling there. You know, they go with the pass, the pass, the pass. Now the defense is on its heels a little bit, expecting another pass play. They go with the draw. Second down and two, so a gain of eight. Hopping back, Lujan. Oh, oh, wide open he was. Wide open, in stride, just went off the fingertips. And a good pass. The pass was put right on the money. Another kid out of Diamond High School, Ryan Brady, almost reeled that ball in. They're down in two. And you got the nerves still kind of, kind of going. They're down in seven. Luhan dropping back, complete, going to Suatel. Hodgkins on the tackle. Two twenty-two remaining in this first quarter of action here. Four down and three for Team Alaska. They're going to drop back to punt, and they go with a conventional style punt. It looks like the linemen are all wide. And a nice deep punt. And it'll be downed at about the 21 yard line. And that's where Team Oregon's going to get it. Now, a, a, an interesting punt formation for Team Alaska. Now, uh, when I played, I played under defensive coordinator Arnie Sullivan, very good, good Kennewick High School D coordinator. And he used to always say, with those weird formations like that, you. It might sound a little odd, but this was, he was a Navy guy. He put a hog bolly for a hog bolly and a skinny guy for a skinny guy. And that's how you lined up against that odd formation <laughs> like that. And it looked like Team Oregon did just that. Nice swing pass outside, complete. Yeah, it looks like about a... Eight-yard gain there, but yeah, that, you know that I wasn't a, a football player myself in high school, but know a little bit about the game. And but those splits, that always surprises me that that would work to have these super wide splits. But it's effective. Make those lanes for blocking or or running. Blitzing is Alaska. And Devontae Hoffman runs right around the outside. Gains maybe one. They're going to say he just got back to the line of scrimmage, so it'll be third down and three for this Oregon team. Hoffman, a lot of speed, low to the ground, tough kid to tackle. Firing complete nice. to an open man. 
will be brought down out of bounds. And Koski, the quarterback out of Bend, hits his man. Number Jonah, five there. Jonah Koski, a 6'3", 190-pound quarterback. We're kind of learning that it, the PA guy is helping us out a lot. Yeah. He didn't have the numbers originally either. And straight to Hoffman. Now he's going to pitch it back, and they'll lose more yardage there. They're going to run Wildcat option there. and didn't, didn't get anything done. Yeah, it looked like he still tried to make the pitch. I'm shocked he was able to get it off. He did. It looked like, from my angle, like I just squirted out. Uh, almost a dangerous, dangerous thing. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to just keep it. Low snap. Koski throwing incomplete. And they were looking for. They were looking for Forrest Russell, the five-seven wide receiver out of Skyview, and he just couldn't bring it in. Yeah, and good coverage there by Team Alaska. I remember that from last year. There's some very good DBs. Did a great job in pass coverage, and you saw it there. Five seconds left to play in this first quarter here at Memorial Sta Stadium in Auburn, Washington. Koski throwing over the head of his receiver. Incomplete. Koski was under a lot of pressure there. Looks like the clock went out. I think that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. So we're going to switch sides and try this again. Yep. So the score after one, Alaska seven, Oregon zero. We'll switch sides and see you for the second quarter play here on the Washington Sports Network. We'll be Koski in the shotgun. Good block by Hoffman there. Pass incomplete, thrown over the head. Connor Feckley in control, and he throws short. And this is really run like a college team. Hear the adjustments and everything being made. Oh, yeah. They really coach up these players, too. It's not just show up in a couple weeks and <laughs> there you have it. Hand off going up the middle. Number 24, Lorenzo Graham. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, some big hits going on out there. I know the defense is certainly look forward to these type games because you're playing with, you know, again, you're playing with the best of the best, so you can be overly aggressive. You know that uh, you got players watching your back, you know. So uh, typically they pin their ears back and come with force, and you saw that there. Exactly. Shotgun with Graham right next to him. He's going to drop back to pass. Fire over the middle. A great ball and an even better catch. It's number 88. Lewis Page catches that ball in stride and then shortly after hit by defensive back. So it'll be first and 10 after a long gain. 20 something yards. Yeah, nice strike there. Feckley put it right where it needed to go. Hand off. Graham can't go anywhere there. So it'll be second and ten. 
Oregon has done a great job of stopping this run game. Mm -hmm. Just the solid passing by Feckley. I mean, he really can deliver a strike with some velocity. Make sure everybody has their chin straps on there. Yeah. Safety first. Beckley, screen pass on the outside, completed to Tyler Road, and he stopped after a gain of three, with third down and seven. Nice open field tackling there by Team Oregon. Nine forty seven remaining here in the second quarter of play. Communicating the play in there. Looks like it's gonna call a timeout. Looks like they're gonna call a timeout. Call a timeout, change up the play. Nine twenty seven left to go in the first half of play. Seven zero. The score team Alaska with the lead. We're gonna take a break here on the Washington Sports Network. Back after that brief timeout here at the Washington Sports Network. Feckley dropping back. Floater, but the receiver trips. Intended for Nick Butler. He's had some trouble on this turf tonight, staying yeah. on his feet. He caught one ball after he slipped, and he was laying on his stomach. Luckily, uh, Feckley hit him in the face mask. That one just seems like he tripped up. Yeah, maybe a different surface than what he's used to, perhaps. It's your footing. You you brought the longer cleats or the or the shorter cleats or whatever, and Beckley stepping up in pressure. Nice ball fake. Tucks it on fourth down, but he's not going to get the first, and so a turnover on downs. Koski dropping back. He's got a floater and a man wide open in stride. Catches it and he's brought down. First and ten, Oregon. A 50-yard reception there. I believe that was Forrest Russell on the reception there. Nice big gain there for Team Oregon. Devontae Hoffman with the carry up the middle, gain of three. Some pad popping going out there on the field. Matthew Ilaliu with the stop there for Team Alaska. They had the media day yesterday, also kind of the uh, – the Tanoa Bowl uh, brunch or lunch this year it gives the teams opportunity to kind of uh, meet each other, and they do the haka. They have a haka competition there, and um, good sportsmanship. But you kind of get to size up the other teams, you know. And you're like, yeah. oh, is it, you know? Well, it's kind of what they do for a lot of bowl games. Yeah. Anyways, they uh, remember it's nothing like the old. Was it? Miami, Nebraska luncheon. <gasps> yeah. Back in the day. I miss those days of college football, man. <laughs> Koski under pressure, incomplete. Intended for Hoffman as his check down out of the backfield. They, they went all out after him. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, the lines of these teams, the, Offensive line doing a good job, though. You see a little bit of pressure there on the quarterback. But, um, you know, typically the defense is at an advantage in games like this. Could just kind of fly around. Koski dropping back to pass. Got a man. No call. You're going to say he was uncatchable. Yeah, that was a good call there. There was a little bit of some bumping going on at the end of the play. 
Nothing that affected the route or the ability to make the catch on that one. It's going to bring up the fourth down. Koski dropping back out of the shotgun. He's going to fire deep. He's got a oh man my. in. Touchdown, Oregon. Forrest Russell has come up huge so far in this game. Comes up even bigger there with a long strike. So the fourth down call pays off for Coach Barton in a big way. A 40-something yard pass there from Koski. He, he proved it yeah, before with that yards. floater. Did it again. Yep, about a 45-yarder, I would say. Reception there. Kick is up, and it is good. Ball bounces in the wet track over there. 7-7 seven, seven, with 7.41 left to go in the first half. This game's all knotted up here on the Washington Sports Network. Manny Melito, Zen, and Thornton. Some other town. I know uh, one of the uh, coaches, one of the dads, uh, Borich, Robert Borich, I believe, yeah. uh, went to Texas A&M, played football there. So Leon Jackson, a Nebraska and a Hawaii guy. A lot of football knowledge out there. And these teams, too. We see that here. You know, it's Team Oregon. And, Absolutely. Uh, Taylor Barton, again, uh, played at the University of Washington, went to high school in Oregon. And then, uh, you know, Team Alaska also with a lot of depth in coaching, and you see that just in the execution of their uh, how their players execute the game. And you, you don't do this job, that coaching job, because it pays a lot yeah. of money. Either you no. do it because you like to do it, Yep, you like the sport. You want to see the kids achieve, and yeah. you want to see the you want to see the sport get better too. Because yeah. the better it gets, the younger the kids are, the better that it'll be. The older they get, as there's a flag on the play on that run. Pump fake. Mm. Almost intercepted. If he would have let it go, he sacked. That's Zachary Lujan. Out of South. Good rush there. And I, li I like seeing the different helmets and stuff. You know, yeah. It's like the, you know. Really gives that uh, almost Pro Bowl style mm -hmm. feel. All star. Definitely makes it seem like an all star game, which it is. Yeah. These kids are all stars from their state. Voted on by coaches around their state and different people. I know Jerry got to pick yep. five guys, and I definitely think he picked the right five guys. And Bodie Simpson, Danny Rapp, Jonah Ho, Kevin Greger. That ball's thrown over the middle and caught by Eric Vandervoort. Vandervoort, a big, big target over the middle. Yeah. He's got a lot of size there. You gotta love that as a quarterback. 6'1, 170 pounds. First team all state wide receiver in Alaska. Pass incomplete intended for Ryan Brady. And some great defense there. Yeah, I think you heard some footsteps there. It's difficult to catch the ball in traffic. A bunch of bodies. You see that orange, just a flash of it in you out of the corner of your eye, and it uh, you tense up. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a instinct. Survival instinct. Punt formation for Team Alaska. Snap is good. The punt is high and wobbly. It's going to go out of bounds. They're probably going to spot that at the 50. And the heater did not work. Mm. I had 
four pairs of socks on and <laughs> Under Armour everything, and I was still cool. Passes deep, almost caught. Intended for Forrest Russell. You know, I like this way. I like what we're seeing out of both teams. You know, it's an exciting brand of football, you know, as a, as a spectator, uh, someone who enjoys the sport. Um, I mean, that's what you want to see. You want, obviously want to see the running power game, but you also want to see some, some uh, the field being stretched, some deep passing attempts. We've seen that here today. I bet they're going to connect on a few more of those before it's all said and done. Swing pass complete. The receiver number three. Eric Douglas on the catch there from Clackamas. Good sampling of high schools represented on this team, Oregon. I was looking at it uh, the other day, looking at the lineup. Uh, North Medford, Clackamas, Sheldon, Jefferson. Aloha. I mean, state is well represented. You can search to knowable as well. Yep. The wonders of technology. Intercepted. Koski is intercepted, and he's got some blockers. And out of bounds. Goes number 21, Dante Williams out of South. There's a flag on the play. Looks like there's going to be a block in the back call. That NFL level. You know, and you sure. see all the NFL players having fun after they make a big play or something like that. They're the ones getting paid. I, I think the guys getting paid should have a little bit more respect for the games yeah. than the guys that aren't. And they're just out there having fun. You'd think. They bring up this Miami team again. What they used to say back there when Jimmy Johnson was their head coach. He didn't like us dancing and skipping in the <laughs> end zone. Don't let us score. Yeah. That pass is incomplete. Intended receiver number 87, Matthew Oldenkamp. Beckley dropping back, throwing over the middle. Incomplete. Intended receiver was Lewis Page, the tight end out of South High School. And he was a first team tight end. Both the tight ends that I see on here, him and Olden Camp were both first teams. Olden Camp, a junior though. Still more to add on to that career. Yeah, yeah. And both of them big kids. Olden Camp, 6'6, 240 pounds. Page, 6'4, 215 pounds. And I don't think overstatement at all on the no. size. And a deep punt. This one's going to bounce inside the 15. Great bounce. Take a roll inside the 10. And that is some great special teams work by Team Alaska. So you catch all those behind the scenes action. Koski. Dumps to Hoffman, trying to do something with his legs. He gets a good block. Hoffman tackled near the sidelines. Enough for a first down, about a 15-yard gain. And, of course, head out to Twitter, slash Sports. Make that your first stop there. Give us a follow. You're into athletics. And then at Manny Melito. What is your handle these days, your Twitter, yeah, Twitter at, handle? Yeah, at Manny Melito. It hasn't changed. This is at, at Manny Melito. At Manny Melito. Let him know what you thought about his uh, broadcasting. <laughs> he, he loves to hear about that. I don't, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Koski hit hey. in the backfield in a big sack. There was three Alaska players there, but the one in charge of the finishing duties was Kenny Pegas. Out of Chugiak. First team offensive tackle. But I like these uniforms, this uniform design this year. I do, yeah. Really neat, I mean. I like what Team Oregon did with theirs, with going with the Oregon State colors and putting the big Oregon State O on it. 
Four men front, linebacker coming. Koski firing, almost oh my. intercepted. Diego Suatio. Teo, excuse me. It's good attention this year on the Tanoa Bowl. Did a great job of getting the word out in the media. Saw a lot, uh, certainly over there in eastern Washington in relation to the game and, and also on the west side, certainly a lot of interest. It's a very unique event. People still uh, just starting to learn about it and, and when it is and what it's about. Uh, but a great event. I mean, attended, very well attended this year. Just looking down in the stands, and we got our feature event coming up after this game. Koski firing incomplete. Great defense there. Not that this isn't a feature game, by the way, but some good attention here. And I like, I like, the, you know, one of the goals of this event is, you know, get those kids that are that didn't get all the attention yet get them one last showcase so it's not like the army you know the uh yeah the army game where those kids already got already going yeah you know elijah peely on the coverage there for alaska punt went off with somebody yeah i don't out of bounds oregon 38 yard line Lujan's pass is thrown short. Lujan pump fake, evades the pressure, dumps to his check down man, and he'll gain five on the play. Third down and five, Lujan firing over the middle, complete. Hits his intended man, Lewis Page. So it'll be a first down and 10 for Alaska. Ball on the 24 yard line. Lujan running out of the pocket and hit out of bounds. Oh. And he'll be sacked. And a flag on the play. Mr. Yellow Pants <laughs> bringing it. That only kid out on the field with yellow pants. Yeah, you know. 1.39 o'clock, ticking down here in the second quarter. Drops back, wide open. Complete. Wide open. To a wide open Eric Vandervoort, the senior out of West High School. And Team Alaska takes their second lead of the game. They saw something there, I believe, in the coverage because he was wide open. And so a nice touchdown strike puts Team Alaska back up 13 to 7. So they're going to kick the extra point here. Kick is up and it is good. 14 7, Alaska with the lead. It was 1.29 left to go in the first half. Made him a little Zenith Thornton, Washington Sports Network. We're going to take a break for the kickoff. We'll be right back. We're back live on the Washington Sports Network for the 2013 Todd Noah Bowl. Oh. And that's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Barely, they were going to let it go, and then yeah. it started to come back. And that was nice to see. We're out of the Tri-Cities area in Washington. It's nice to see some of our oh my. guys there. That's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Alaska. Dante Williams on a pick wow. six. Second interception of the game. The DBs were the difference last year. Saw the same thing. Matthew Eli Lowe 
This year, Dante Williams looks like, hey, it's my turn. Some athletic DBs. Got to be some colleges out there still need some, some secondary. Oh, every college still needs some secondary. I know, you know what I'm that. saying? So uh, there's a couple. Big game changer right there, too. UCLA needing some secondary. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be blocked. Extra point is blocked, making it 27. One twenty left to play here in the first half. Go into the half trailing, or if they're going to try to get a deep strike with the pooch kick. Turnable. And out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Plenty of time to produce a score. I'm sure we're going to see at least a couple attempts downfield. I'd have to, knowing uh, Mr. Barton over there, Oregon head coach, quarterback himself, uh, I'd have to believe they're going to at least take a shot. Absolutely. Pistol formation. Koski hands off to Hoffman. Hoffman breaks a few tackles. Still going. Still going. Now the whistle is going to be blown after a gain of seven. And a tough fought seven yards at that. Hoffman very low to the ground. 5'8", 190 pounds out of Gresham High School. He's a senior. No huddle offense for this Oregon team. Going to drop back. Koski firing. Got him. Complete. And another See touchdown. And another long reception for Forrest Russell. Wow. I knew they'd take at least one shot. You saw first the run play to kind of soften up the defense, maybe get some, catch some nap and get some quick yardage. Then the home run ball. About a 70 yarder, 68 yards. They know they have the speed advantage Jump. out there. And they know that it seems like Koski's very comfortable with throwing that deep ball to Russell. They might want to just throw some more of those things yeah. because they've been working. They might just want to go Madden on them and just. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you. That's my Madden strategy yeah. right there. And, and we saw one blocked extra point on the other end. And here it is on this end. Yep, return the favor. But and some chirping going on there. Russell yelling back to that Alaska sideline. Well, Oregon needing that one. Squib kick. Returned by Armani Tufaga. Linebackers showing blitz, but they drop back into coverage. Complete to Nick Butler. Butler's going to be brought down after a gain of about four. They're going to hurry to the line. 16 seconds now. Feckley, no huddle. He's got three wide to his left. Dropping back, looking down the field under pressure, wasting a lot of time here. Throws incomplete to receiver Tyler Road. The senior out of Chugiak. Feckley dropping back under pressure, rolling, throwing, incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half. Team Alaska with a 20 to 13 lead over Team Oregon. We'll be back for the second half action here on the Washington Sports Network live from Memorial Stadium in Auburn, Washington. Welcome back to Washington Sports Network's coverage of the 2013 Tanoa Bowl. This game is Alaska versus Oregon. Team Alaska with a 20 
a 13 lead over the orange shirt team Alaska or team Oregon excuse me for Alaska it's been all about the play of their quarterback Connor Feckley it's been outstanding with his arm his feet everything six foot 195 pound senior out of West High School he was the offensive player of the year and the Alaska Gatorade player of the year A little short kick, and that's going to go out of bounds. Flag on the play. They'll bring it up to the 35-yard line. Double pass coming. He's got a man, but it's underthrown and incomplete. A flag on the play, though. Pass interference. So a first down coming for Team Alaska. Luhan in the shotgun. He's got four wide. Blue on his pass. Going for number 87. Matthew. Waiting for the snap. He gets it. Drops back. Looking. Firing down the field. Incomplete by the Tunnelable Committee. Luhan drops back. He's going to evade pressure. Step up. And be brought down at the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth and 15. A good defensive stop here for Oregon. Alaska has been very good at punting this ball away. Nobody back to return for Oregon. It'll be downed at the 16. Make that 17 yard line. They will spot it back at the 16. The little guy, number five, Forrest Russell, whose just speed just cannot be matched by any of the defensive backs. Handoff now. Going up the middle. Number nine on the carry. Be good enough for a first down. Russell at the bottom of the screen. Koski the pistol. Going to hand off again up the middle. This time be stopped after a gain of two. Eric Peavy on the tackle there for Team Alaska. Big boy. Second down and eight. Koski hands the ball off and it's going to drop to the turf. And he will recover it. He'll lose a few yards there. Almost grabbed in. Koski's punt, high but not deep, and goes out of bounds at the Alaska 46-yard line. That's where they will start. Coverage backing off a little bit. Now they're in the pistol. Beckley going to hand the ball off up the middle. This one given to number 24, Lorenzo Graham, and he's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. So some good defensive coverage there by Oregon. They, they really have looked impressive this half on the defensive side of the football. Pass complete right to Nick Butler. And Butler with a good six, seven-yard reception across midfield. So it'll be third down and three. And everybody on that Oregon sideline, you know, watch the ball. They've gotten into trouble <laughs> before, jumping off sides on these hard counts that Feckley gives. 
Feckley. Linebacker showing blitz. Now he's going to back off. Four-man front for Oregon. Feckley dropping back. He's going to throw. Intercepted. Uh -oh. And he's got an open road to the house and a lead blocker. And brought down at the 11-yard line. So an interception thrown by Connor Feckley and a big return and good looking start here for Oregon's defense. Nice. Yeah, that was excellent. Just return from the concession stand. Happy to report. Lines are long, but yeah. food is good and they have utensils this time. So don't good. eat with your hands. I, nice. I had to. <laughs> nice interception there for Team Oregon. There's definitely a, there was a buzz there walking through the stands. Very well attended. Tonight's game is, and people still filing in for the next game. And uh, wow, what a play there by Team Oregon. Floater thrown by Koski, brought down, touchdown. And pending an extra point, we're going to have a tie ball game here right off the bat. Wow, that was impressive. I, I kind of want to know what Oregon's coaching staff had to say to these guys at halftime. I mean, obviously they know they're seven point deficit, not that much. They well fought, they made some mistakes and that's what led to those touchdowns. But So they have come out here in the second half with a fire. That's probably what was said. Hey, come on. Kick is up, and it is good. We've got a tie ball game here. Knotted up at 20. 7.42 left to go in the third here on the Washington Sports Network. Manny Melito, Zen, and Thornton. Comes the kickoff, a squibber. This one's going to go into the end zone. So a squib kick for a touchback. Wow. You don't see that often. No. And so... Alaska will get the ball their own 20 yard line. Luhan's pass is complete, but just across the line of scrimmage, so a gain of one on that pass. Caught by number five, Ryan Brady. And off going up the middle. Given to Armani to Faga. Lujan dropping back. Firing downfield. Is it going to stay in? No, it's going to be out of bounds. Intended receiver was number nine, Nick Butler. And he's been the go to guy all night. Yeah, Nick Butler there. He saw the speed, the separation there. Ball thrown towards the sidelines. Obviously, that's where you got to put that ball. But just out of the reach, now the bounds too, of uh, the receiver. Oregon never sends anybody deep to return the ball. Yeah, I noticed that. But it's been, there's been some brilliance in that special team game, and then you get something like that right there. Yeah, the little shanky doodle. Yeah. It's going to be first and 10 Oregon. Ball at the Alaska 37-yard line. So excellent field position right there. Yep. Smells good. Koski almost intercepted. Lorenzo Graham right there got his hands on it. Right. It's all in good, you know, just like talking on the basketball court or... Pass complete. Nathan Sayulele on the tackle there. Out of West High School, a senior, first team, all state linebacker. 6'1, 210 pounds. Mm. Good size. We've seen some great size yeah. here today, too. Tender receiver. 
was Eric Douglas. Koski's pass and a flag for roughing the passer. It won't matter though. Dakota Odin with a touchdown reception. Roughing the passer was indeed the call. Yeah, and uh, on the camera I saw a little push off there, a little by the uh, receiver. It wasn't as bad as the you know Golden Tate did back there for the Seahawks, but um, he improved his position, able to haul down that pass and uh, get in there for the touchdown. So uh, Team Oregon, I believe this is the first lead that Team Oregon has ever had over Team Alaska. So that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. 26-20, 5-24. Left to go in the third. Kick is up. Off the goal post. Did it go uh -huh. through, though? It did. Extra point good. 27-20. Wow, bounced off one goal post and had enough spin on it to ricochet back in. That's hilarious. Team Alaska, at least here in the third quarter. Pooch kick picked up out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Connor Fickley back in at quarterback. So they've been doing every other drive. That ball thrown behind the receiver, but he picks it up and able to do a little bit with it. That was Eric Vandervoort. Got a chance to see Team Washington head in the locker room. They got looks like they have the same jerseys as Team Alaska, same colors. Yeah, they're li they're. I saw them up. Well, you could be right. I saw them up close there. I was told they're Seahawk colors. Okay. Though they are in the gray. The gray with the. With the. Yeah, I believe might it's be a darker green. blue. Yeah. I'm wondering why they didn't go with the crazy neon green. No. <laughs> yeah. Those the Sounders jerseys that the Seahawks oh, copied yeah. on that. Yeah. Those were glorious. Kind of what Fickley's cleats are right now. Fickley, excuse me. Actually, they got Lujan in there. Yeah, Fickley just came out. Pass complete. To Nick Butler. And now Feckley's back in. You know, they want, you want to get these kids, you know, opportunity to play. Obviously, um, you still want to compete and get the win. It is a showcase. It's also a team sport, obviously a team game. They're doing a great job, though, of uh, getting both these guys some action. Feckley keeps it himself. Does he get the first yeah, down? I think he did. They're going to say yes, or they spot the ball. Oh Well, maybe not on the spot. That spot would be a no. Side or just say yes. yes, I guess. He's got better eyes than I do. Oh, okay. Well, they had the – They, they had one the ball. It was the ball placer was in the wrong spot. The guy on the okay. – Tricks of the trade. <laughs> Look. Now we're at that weird angle. Feckley, hand signals. He's got four wide. Armani Tufaga takes the handoff and he busts up four yards. Yeah, this event continues to grow in popularity. I was looking on the Tenobo website at the, you know, alumni from this game. We've talked about a lot of them already, but um, there's, a, you know, a number of kids have gone on to play Division One, D2. So it's been a good springboard. I'd, I'd have to say it's been, uh, it's met as goals, at least so far, getting these kids, you know, an extra look and an opportunity. Butler. 
Butler with the catch, brought down at the 30, enough for a first down. And Alaska now moving the ball, but Butler hobbling off the field. It's not a good sign. He's been their standout wide receiver so far this game. Check on the wristband. Feckley faking the pitch and he's going to run up the middle. Get about six, maybe seven on the play. Got across the 30. They spotted, they're going to say he got up to. Out across the 25, they're going to say he got up to the 23. It was a gain of seven. Second down and three, Feckley with four wide. Fogger in the backfield. He's going to throw complete. Got his man, Graham. Normally a running back, they stuck him out as. The lone receiver on the right side, and he had a nice little slant route. Brought it in for a first. First and 10 on the 12. They're playing press coverage here in the red zone. Feckley, QB draw, trying to get outside, and he's hit. Gains a couple. Quite a few Oregon guys there meet him. Short of the end zone, but good enough for a first down. It'll be first and ten, or excuse me, first and goal, ball on the one. Hand off, stopped. No, it's going to be fumbled, picked up by Oregon. And a flag on the play, some extra pushing and shoving. But Oregon still has the football after they recover that fumble. Alaska showing blitz. Koski in his own end zone, fires, almost intercepted. And it looked like he was going out for Dakota Odin. Another dangerous pass out there. That's in that uh, pick six territory, where if the DB makes the break, it's it's a whole different. Handoff going to Hoffman. He's running his own end zone there. Now he escapes. Hoffman gets out back to the original line of scrimmage. It seems like maybe a little bit more. This has been some risky territory yeah. for Oregon. It looks like Alaska's just bringing them everything they got. It looks like the clock's going to run out there. The third quarter comes to a close. We're going to switch halves of the field. We'll be back here with the fourth quarter. Oregon leading 27 to 20 against Team Alaska here at the Snow Bowl. We'll be right back. Fourth quarter action here in the 2013 Tanoa Bowl. Koski throwing deep. Forrest Russell off the bounce, and they're going to say no. He tried to make it look like it went off of a player. And then it was quickly waved dead. But yeah, I'll tell you what, me. if that would have bounced off a player, it would have been a heck of a catch. That would have been amazing. With it. Now it's just a part of the game. That's just <laughs> yeah. what happens. It's bound to. 
Koski, it's tipped and goes out of bounds at the 25 yard line. And Alaska. Some excellent, excellent field position. See if they can capitalize off that. Luan dropping back, intercepted. Uh -oh. Wow, thrown over the middle and picked off. Yeah. Just like that. I tell you what, this Oregon defense has been nothing short of spectacular this second half. It looked like he read that all the way. Saw the quarterback's eyes, made the break, got the pick big. Huge play. Maybe, you know, probably looking to choose some clock on some long drives here. Koski hands the ball off to Hoffman, stays on his feet. And a flag on the play looking like it's going to be a face mask from what I saw up here. Four wide for Koski. Dropping back out of the shotgun. Receiver, or the back, I should say, wanted a flag on that. Looks like his path was impeded getting out of the backfield. Koski. Dropping back again, looking downfield. Fires. Oh! Complete. Odin. Had a step on his defender and couldn't haul it in. It was a very tough catch to make. But if he would have made that, it might have been six. Yeah, he's upset with himself. Hit the fingertips. There's just a handful of guys that make a lot of money for making that yeah, catch. Yeah, that's true. Handoff to Hoffman. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Not much there. Great job of Team Alaska. Smelling that play and just filling the gaps, making the tackle. Peely keeps losing his helmet. Again, four wide. Fourth down and five. Koski surveying the field and overthrows his man, almost intercepted. Complete there. Lorenzo Graham, one of the bright red helmet. Talk about the yellow pants, and then there's only one red helmet. Yeah, out there. hard to miss. They're going to switch it up. Handoff going to Graham. He be tackled and held on his feet. Now brought down. Ten, wind the clock. 9.23 left to go in this game. 27-20, Oregon maintaining their only lead in the game. Feckley, incomplete. It's gotta be easy to spot. <laughs> Beckley dropping back, stepping up to throw, incomplete. That one's complete. Going to 87, Matthew Oldenkamp. Kicker, 6'2", 160 pounds. Trying to knock down a 36-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it is no good. A re-kick. And the fans starting to put on the pressure. That one. Kick is up, Nail. and it is good. Thinking that you were going to tune into Washington and Utah 
and that game's probably going to be pushed back to about 6.15. Oregon gets the return there. First down and 10, Koski hands the ball off. Nice good cut. Move. Great cut. Love this spread offense here for Oregon. Hoffman trying to make something happen with his feet, get around the outside. He does, puts a shoulder down. We'll see where they spot this football. There's a lot of running side to side there. Yeah. Not so much getting upfield. Back to four wide. Six DBs. For Alaska, nice there's another there. good move. And a slide by Koski and a flag on a late hit. Can't late hit the quarterback. Oh, everybody got their flag out. Yeah. First down and 10, spread offense. Hoffman right next to Koski. They're going to hand him the football. Hoffman's going to spin off a one tackler. Flag on the play. Appears to be a holding. Good strong run there though. And so a flag, a flag and a hat to his left. Forrest Russell down to the bottom of the screen. He's gonna go oh almost my. intercepting a flag on the play for pass interference. So it'll be an automatic first down. It'll bring him half the distance of the goal. Koski. Low snap, hands the ball off to Hoffman. Hoffman makes a few moves. He's hit into the end zone. And a touchdown. And so now, 33 to 23, a 10 point lead for Team Oregon. Kick is up and it is good. 34-23. Oregon in the lead, 34-23. Big and return uh -oh. here, going down the sideline. It's number three, Tyler Road. No flags on the play. Wow. I'll say that, uh, that'll wake him up. Absolutely. Just took about uh, 11 seconds. Wow. And big hugs from the coaching staff of Alaska and the rest of his players. <laughs> hey, we came all this way. We ain't just going out without a roar. Wow. And... Lujan's pass, nah. oh. incomplete, but there's a flag. Have to move back. <laughs> Lujan, quarterback, dropping back, hits Grisha. Stays on his feet, and then he's finally brought down. Okay. Graham, Lorenzo Graham, excuse me. Can't get anything done there, so. Deep kick. Deep. And it's going to land inside the five near the one yard line. And a big hit. Stopped at the five. Make that the six. Wow. That, uh. I'll tell you what, Alaska special teams has been on fire this evening. Lead. Koski in the shotgun. And a drop back. He has Adam, a man Adam. wide open, but he waited too long to throw that ball, and now it's too wide, and it goes out of yeah, bounds. Yeah, had him wide open there, right off the line. Couldn't recognize it. By the time he did, it was too late. 
Going to hand the football off. Going up the middle in the Washington Utah game. Ball thrown. Oh Forrest my Russell. Goodness. Holy cow. Great catch. Held on to the football as he was hit. And they're up to the 25 with a first down. That kid has been doing it all game long. That is a phenomenal catch. Not a lot to look at. 5'7", 155 pounds, but he that, can get up man. and he can catch the football. Well, the concentration to come down with that in traffic, extend, and make the grab, that's a big-time play. They're going to run the ball with Hoffman. Hoffman up across the 30. So a gain of three. They're going to mark him at the 31. Here in the Washington Sports Network. Hand off to Hoffman. He's got to get around the outside quick, and he does. Hoffman gets a first down and a block, and he'll be brought down at the 40. Handoff going to Hoffman. Hoffman's got a bust around the outside. He's got some good speed. Stiff arm. Now he's going to be stopped and brought down by Lorenzo Graham. And he'll stay in bounds and keep the clock going. But it looks like Alaska is going to take a timeout. So we'll take a timeout up here in Back the booth. Live on the Washington Sports Network. Manny Melito, Zen, and Thornton. Koski faking the handoff. He's going to strike deep. Almost oh, intercepted. Wow. And a flag on the play. They're going to call roughing the passer. Koski hands the ball off. Hoffman around the corner. Evades a tackler. Hoffman out of bounds, close to the sticks. A nine-yard gain. And actually, they're going to spot him short. Hoffman up the middle, up to the 10. Good enough for a first. Hand off. Good up to the two. Out with 15 seconds, they don't, don't even have to snap it. Seven now, six. Counting down, let's see if they'll just down it or if they're gonna punch nope, it in. Nope, they're just gonna they're hand it off to Hoffman and he's like gonna go, go into, into the, the end zone. zone. That will count. And that will be the cherry on top of this. Looks like they're gonna kick the extra point. I'm assuming, looks like game is over. No horn blow. Yeah, weird, weird ending. I mean, just <laughs> interesting. But it does end. Does end. We'll see. Uh, so that is a final. It's going to go into the books. Team Oregon. Thirty-four. Team Alaska. Twenty-nine.